It's Kendrick Lamar reporting live, trendedreport.com. Make sure y'all log in, check in. I'm on there. We updating y'all. Top dog entertainment. Bang, bang. Famous Kendrick Lamar. Bang bang. I just want to ask you a couple questions in, in regards to the journey. Yeah. Um, from when I met you Man. to today. So long ago. You know what I mean? What was that 2010 or something like that? 2010, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like leaving town, coming back, and there's a full blown tree. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's a little leaf at the beginning. But uh, talk about the journey, man, because I know that you've been out here putting it down for years. Yeah, you know it's, been, what I'm it's been a long ride, man, a long ride. I mean, my first show out here probably was. Um, like a hundred people out there, under two hundred people. Mm -hmm. But it was cool though because they still get that energy and that love, you know. I went back home, regrouped, put out some more music. Mm -hmm. Two years later, you know, it's four thousand people out there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. Well, you know, the music speaks for itself. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm gonna believe when you put out a real product. Yes, sir. You get results. Exactly. Um. Explain the title of the album. The title of the album. Because one thing, not to cut you off, I'm yeah. sorry, but uh, about Kendrick is that he's not just saying stuff to say it. And he's not just putting words together for the sake of it looking good. It right. it, things have a meaning when it comes to what you do. Right. That's why we appreciate your music. Yes, so the, the title of the album? The title of the album, Good Kid, Mad City. Um, it really represents, you know, a lot of people think it's, you know, just about me. It's more so about, you know, the people, you know, involved in my life, the close people in my life. Everybody that they call it delinquents in my world in Compton. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really a journey. It's really a journey, you know, on, on, on our struggles yeah. from, a, from a different standpoint rather than just glorifying gang mentality. You know, it's something we all heard, we all used to it. Mm -hmm. Same old story, but now it's a twist about the Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, the, that's a uh, beautiful thing. We look forward to it. Yes, sir. Um, man, I've been wanting to call you, text you. Uh, I ain't do it. I said I catch up with you when I see you in yeah, person. Exactly. But the idea of y'all taking your music when everybody's de delivering free mixtapes. Yeah and put a, 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 a super crazy album, to, it was an album. Yeah, exactly. Section 8 is what I'm talking about. And releasing it on iTunes. Right. Like, was that a big discussion? Was it a debate? Or was it a goal yeah. that you guys had from the get-go that you're gonna right. release the music? That was an idea that uh, the big company Top Dog, mm -hmm. the CEO of the company came up with. Mm -hmm. And uh, we tried to fight him on that for a long time because we felt like you know the people weren't ready to buy music. Right. And um, he was right. He said, you know what, if, if you want to get music back to the forefront where people actually respect it, make them go out and, and you know, get it and stop complaining and, and actually support it. You know, right. stop downloading it for free. So those same people all support about what's on the radio and what they tired of hearing, mm -hmm. not buying these albums. So just make them buy this album and start like that. It's a beautiful thing, man. Top Dog gave the music industry a breath of life right. and, and, and some reassurance that yeah. the game is still what it is. And, yeah. and you guys work hard as hell to put out the music and yeah, it costs money. Yes, sir. It costs money to make it. Exactly. So, I mean, exactly. Uh, when we saw that happening, man, I was excited for you guys. And uh, I told my brother and some of my friends said, they're gonna make a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna yeah. make a lot of money. Cause everybody worked. had to have it. Everybody got it. Um, man. Double XL, Double cover, XL. Dr. Dre. Yeah, where does that, where that Where's that, that title? This right here is what we're talking about. Huge. I mean, man, from you being a homie, yeah. when I saw this on the stands, I was like, wow, you know, yeah. he said a long time ago, he was yeah. going to get it. Yeah, yeah, a whole, whole lot of vision, a whole lot of vision, man. Look at that for a second. A whole lot of vision came with that. Absolutely. Well, well, I mean, for you, from, once again, from where you from, from, from the, the long hours in the studio, small studios to big studios, yep. small shows to huge shows, mm -hmm. you know, riding around in a little bus to doing a tour bus life, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Man, how does it feel to see yourself on the front of Double XL for the whole unit, for the whole world to see? Man, it just, it just reassures me, man, that a person with vision, man, you know, you can go anywhere. Um, vision and God, those are the two. No matter how much raw talent I have, you know, that I, 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 I got naturally, it never would have got me to this point, to being on this cover. It takes a person with strong vision, man, and, and, and belief to get to that point. You know, you can have, be the best rapper in the world, 
best rapper in the world, but you'll always stay in that box and you don't have no vision and can't see yourself there. Because through that journey, you're going to get a whole lot of distractions, a whole lot of temptations, a whole lot of downfalls, and it takes a real stern, stern man, you know, to get to them points. You know what I mean? That's why I salute all the people, you know, that's success, successful in life. Yeah. Dre, Jay, Nas, Oprah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a real belief system that you have to follow. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that, man. That yeah. was amazing. Uh, I mean, we could all say we, we saw it coming, but, yeah. you know, sometimes it's reassuring, you know what I mean? It's Appreciate like, man, you know, my man was on the right track from the gig up. Appreciate it. You know? I would say everybody wants to know yeah. is, uh, you know, that relationship that you and Lady Gaga have. Right. You know, outside looking in, it's a beautiful thing. Two yeah. musicians, you know, that, that mess with each other and respect yeah. each other's music. Um, for the people out there that want to know, what's, what's that relationship? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great friendship. Yeah, definitely on the music end. Um, just, you know, two creative people get in the studio, man, and have no boundaries. Right. You know, just want to make music move. That's what we both believe in, you know, music supposed to feel like something make people feel a certain way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the truth. Man. Yes, sir. But we look forward to that project and that's something that's gonna I'm sure gonna yeah. just put everything on a whole another yes, level again. Yes, sir, thank you. Yes, sir, man. Well I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Man, represent with the trading report.com. Yeah. <laughs> and uh this my man, Kendrick Lamar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, stay tuned. Hold up. Frank, Frank. Headshot. Frank, Frank. Sit down. Frank, Frank. Stand up. Frank, Frank. Pass out. Frank, Frank, wake up, Frank, Frank, fade it, Frank, Frank, fade it.